So what's the deal with hurricanes? Uh, clearly the worst Seinfeld ever. Does Seinfeld imitate you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every once in a while, he pretends he's broke. <laughs> I mean, seriously, what, what is it that makes a hurricane a hurricane? Okay, so I can tell you sort of the physics of a hurricane. Oh, all right. right. The ocean, we think of as just a place to dip your feet in or to sail across or to fly over. Mm -hmm. It is a fundamental driver of what goes on in Earth's atmosphere. What's the hottest month? Not June. Not June. It's gonna be July or August. Right. Part of that time delay comes about because the ocean is uptaking this heat. Gotcha. Okay? So, one of the great drivers of everything that happens on Earth is the ocean. Okay. Because it's a big uptaker of many things, of heat from the sun, of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You can just absorb it, all right, and then come out later. So what happens? Hurricane season is after we have peak heating of Earth in the northern hemisphere. Okay. Peak heating is in June when the sun's angle on the Earth's surface is at its highest. Okay. And then the sun is working its way down. We're approaching fall and winter. But the ocean, which had been uptaking that heat, is now giving some of that back. Gotcha. And so the hotter the ocean is relative to the air, the more you have unstable air above it. Oh. And warm, moist, unstable air. Don't go there. Ah. Uh, Don't <laughs> Warm. We've been working together too long. Moist. <laughs> unstable <laughs> air. Yes. Is a recipe for making clouds. Oh, okay. Okay? Right. Okay, so it's moist and warm. So, so it's moist, so it's got uh, water vapor in it. Mm -hmm. It's warm, so it's warmer than the surroundings. It'll want to rise. As you rise, it gets to cooler and cooler air temperatures. And when you're cool, the, the air can't hold that much water in vapor anymore and it condenses out and makes clouds. Right. That's it, okay? Warm, moist, unstable air, you get clouds. So, watch what happens. Where this zone kicks in has low air pressure. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're a cloud anywhere and there's high pressure over here and low pressure over there, where are you going? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going over to the low. You're going to the low pressure. That's right. The high pressure's pushing you, it's the low pressure's me. pulling you. Right. It's just like... All the clouds head towards the low pressure system. Right. All of them. Calling all clouds, all the clouds. <laughs> all right, so now watch. System. No. Okay, so now watch. If you come in from the sides, all fine. You okay. just come straight in. Straight in. Okay, now watch. If you come in from below, uh -huh. I'm coming from, you got to picture this now. Is a rotating Earth. Right. Do you realize the equator is moving faster than we are? Of course. Because it has a bigger circumference. Like, like a record, on a record player. Oh my what, God. What the hell is a record? That's just, I can't believe what I just said. You. A record on a record <laughs> player. Like, in, like you kids know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Go ask your father. It's right. like a merry-go-round. Right, like a merry-go-round. The, the outer horses are moving, faster or whatever animal it is. They're moving faster because they have a bigger circumference. Right. Yet they all finish one circle at the same time. All right, so watch. So I'm trying to get to that low pressure system, and I'm closer to the equator than it. As I go towards it, my sideways motion exceeds the sideways motion of the parts of the Earth I am now passing over. Right. I exceed that. Right. So I'm trying to aim for the low pressure system, but I overtake it. Right. Off to the right. Which means? Wait! Now, I'm a, I'm a cloud north of the low pressure system. Right. And I try to go towards it, but I'm going slower than it. Right. So I come in also to the right, behind it, okay? And so this forces a circulation in the low pressure system that is counterclockwise. And all clouds are trying to get there at the same time, and you have a storm. All the moisture is being gathered up from all the, re the region right. and putting it in that low pressure system. And this system. one point in this low pressure. And we have these arbitrary definitions. If it's above this speed, it's a tropical storm. If the rotation speed is high, even higher, then it's a hurricane. So the lower the pressure is right. in the low pressure system, the oh. more potent it is of gathering uh, clouds from farther away. And this creates a, basically a circulation. And it's true for all low pressure systems in the Northern Hemisphere. Right. 
So what, whatever you call them, what in the Pacific, is it a cyclone, right. is it a whatever? Tropical depression. Yeah, whatever uh, you call, whatever it, call, you call even it. Even tornadoes. Monsoons. What, even tornadoes. Even if tornadoes. you look at the circulation, it's counterclockwise. There are rare exceptions in the tornado case. You can have something that'll sort of force it and it'll overcome what the earth is trying to do to it, but basically all of this is counterclockwise. counterclockwise. And then people say, how about my toilet? Which way does my poop go down the hole? It goes down whichever way the jets are pointing in your toilet. Oh, okay, yes. there you go. <laughs> the rotation of the earth don't care, doesn't care about the radius in your toilet. Right. Okay. A little too small. It's a little too small. A little, right. a little too small. A little too small. The to poop goes from the edge of the toilet to the middle. The rotation of the earth is a non-factor. Gotcha. There. You can calculate how much effect that is. It's it's swamped by anything that's going on inside the toilet, especially the jets. Gotcha. So and in the southern hemisphere, all of this happens the other way, and storms then turn clockwise. Gotcha. So then you get a hurricane. And uh, so the warmer the Earth is, mm -hmm. the more moisture gets evaporated into the air, and the more moisture there is to make clouds. And that, Okay? Right. So the more weather you have. We associate weather with what the water in the air is doing. Is it coming out as hail, sleet, snow, rain? Right. That We call that weather. It's, and it's all water. It's, it's all water. It's just it's water. Water, 12 ways. That's it. That's it. <laughs> wow. Right, yeah. right. Is there a name for just the swirling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, this this was first studied by a physicist named Coriolis. Mm -hmm. And so it's called the Coriolis force. It's the Coriolis force. The, yeah, they call it a force. It's really not a force. It's just I have a different, I'm, I will overtake the low pressure system headed towards it in the Northern Hemisphere. And if you look at it, it's like something's pushing it to the side. And so in that sense, it's what we call a fictitious force, but it's still useful to think about it as a thing. Right. The Coriolis force. The Coriolis force. Oh yeah. Cool, man. So you better hope if you have a hurricane, it comes during low tide. Yeah, right, right. All right, but hurricanes last weeks as they come up the coastline. Somebody is getting high tide on landfall. Hurricane Sandy in New York City, it, by the time it hit us, it wasn't a hurricane, it was like a tropical depression, but it was really large, and it was not only high tide, but there was the circulation of the air was pushing the ocean towards the shore. Right. So there's this force, storm surge. storm surge, on top of the high tides. Right. Breached our walls. That's I was out of, I didn't have electricity for a week. I, I lived downtown, it was dark. <laughs> it was truly Gotham. <laughs> Nice. It was a dark night. <laughs> hey, it's time to figure out if what you learn will stick. All right. There's a quiz on the Coriolis effect on hurricanes at brilliant.org. Say you're on a merry-go-round that's rotating clockwise and you throw a ball directly towards the center. How will you see the ball move? Do you think it will travel in a straight line or be curved to one side? Now, one of the many cool things about Brilliant is that you learn by playing with interesting puzzles that build upon each other. Did you ever imagine that playing on a merry-go-round can illustrate how hurricanes work? I never did. But now it makes so much sense and I understand how scientists think about it. Even if you don't know something right off the bat, the site walks you through various aspects of the concept so that you have a deeper understanding and apply that to various scenarios. So to keep learning, go to brilliant.org slash star talk. The first 782 of you will get 20% off their annual subscription. Hey, if you want to see more videos from star talk, hit the subscribe button clockwise or counterclockwise, depending <laughs> on your hemisphere and click the little bell so you can get notified each time we upload a video. This little and bell is so Pavlovian. It really you know? is. Uh, it's like ding. Yes. Oh, an angel got his wings. And I like this video. <laughs> and I'm hungry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and as always, Keep looking up. Unless there's a hurricane coming, then seek shelter. <laughs>